Hi, Dr. Barry DiBernardo from New Jersey Plastic Surgery. Hi, Sharon. Hi. We know you're here for something on your face, injectables, yes. right? And um, let's take a look and see what would do best for you. We like the patients to participate in the consultation because we really need to know what's bothering them and to use all the tools we have to achieve their desired look. So Sharon, here's a mirror. Okay. And can you tell me what areas um, are bothering you and we'll, we'll make a plan for you. Okay, um, definitely up here. So she's talking about muscles moving. So when we do that, those are the toxins. So let's look at all the toxin areas. These, these are the muscles of your face mm -hmm. and we're gonna see which ones are moving too much and how we can slow that down to get the wrinkles reduced. Okay. So first thing is look in here and squeeze. So we see these lines in here. And the other thing we see is that these muscles on the side are strong and we can relax all that. So you relax and I'm going to place that plan on here. So there are a few little lines up in here. It's not bad, but I think if we get some of them It'll reduce some of the crepiness you have in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then do a big smile. And we see these lines. Those are called the crow's feet. And those are a very popular area to do uh, with the toxins. So I'm going to map those things out also. Now, you mentioned that those are called the bunny lines, mm -hmm. and it's the wrinkling of the nose. Wrinkle, relax. One more time. Good. And while we're at it, do here, purse your lips. These lines. Relax. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, to make the lips go up and not have that frown. Okay, so what she's talking about is as you get older, the lip turns down. And the reason it turns down is this muscle here, uh, which is called the DAO, pulls down on the corner of the mouth. This is advanced uh, toxins, but if we relax that, it's going to bring it up and, and reverse that frowning look. We've seen Sharon's toxin plan. We're going to look at areas of lines or depressions and see what fillers can do. So are there areas on there you'd like to improve with fillers? Yes. Um, I have these deep lines in here, here, all this dimples or whatever in there, um, and up there. Okay. Definitely this area. So she's talking about the perioral area. She has what we call nasolabial folds and then some depression down around the uh, chin area. If that gets thinner as you get older and it makes the chin look more pointed. So we're gonna fill this out uh, with a volume filler called Radius. That's gonna last one to two years. And we're also going to be filling these areas with a medium filler like the Versa. And, and that's something unusual. We're not going to talk about it for them. Mm -hmm. And then, one more thing. Purse your lips like you're going to whistle. These lines in the lips, uh, those can be filled in with the light filler called Bellaterra, which does etched in lines and wrinkles. So she's good. Uh, you can relax. Sharon is a good example of someone who has a variety of indications for different fillers. Volume fillers, medium fillers, 
and light fillers for etched in lines. So we're going to use Bellotero, Versa, and Radius to help you with those different things. And that's why we need to customize this because one filler doesn't do everything, but for best results we combine all of this mm -hmm. to get our best look and the most natural results for you. Okay. Good. Okay, squeeze your eyebrows toward the center. There we go. Now purse your lips. So we're gonna do a little bit with the Botox. Okay. Now we're gonna continue on her forehead. Raise your eyebrows up all the way. Okay, you can stop. Do a big smile and relax. Okay, turn toward me. Wrinkle your nose. Good. And the last one, Sharon, look at me. You need to roll her lip out and down so I can feel the muscle. So go ahead and do that. That's right here. And relax. Do it again. And it's right here. And that's going to bring her corners of the mouth up. Okay. So in this area, she has a depressed area that needs volume so we're going to use radius which is calcium based it'll last one to two years and it will bring this volume and fill in the depressed areas such as this okay and turn this way okay ready see it start to come up right away. Okay, stop there. So now her fold in here is very deep. So you can use one filler in there, but because it's so deep, I'm gonna create the base of it with the long acting filler with the radius, and that will start building it up. And then I'm gonna put a medium level filler on top of it. So we're actually getting the best of both to help this area, which will do better and last longer. So that. Try to do that again, purse your lips. So it's not as dramatic as it would have been. But the nice thing about Bellotero, it integrates into the tissue so you don't get that raised area that uh, some of the medium level fillers would do when you do this area. We have completed Sharon's injection procedure to review. We use toxins up in this area for the 11s, a little bit here to give a raise to her brow. We put some in her forehead to smoothen out these lines along here for the crow's feet area and here for the bunny lines we call them and finally down on these muscles to let her corners of her mouth come up somewhat. Then we used fillers for several things. We used them to get her nasolabial folds. We used a deep filler here and also in this area to fill out the depressions here. Then we used a medium filler in this area on top of the deep filler so we get the best effects of both. And finally, we used a light filler called Bellotero in her etched in lines around the mouth to um, improve those. So it's an example of using different toxins, different fillers to get a rejuvenation and an aesthetic appearance that looks very natural and do that all in about 15 or 20 minutes. So how was that? It's fine. Okay, it's so great. we'll see you back in a few weeks you and bet. check how you're doing. <laughs> Thank you.